you sleep a lot. <laughs> I must say, in the tour, you always have a certain adrenaline, certain power to move on. But I, when I go home, for sure, the first two days, um, I'm going to sleep a lot. I always fall asleep, fell asleep before the television, so uh, two days are going to be really offline, I think. I think in these in these grand tours, you kind of you don't really want to think about how you're feeling because it's you overanalyze every little thing, and you just have to concentrate on on recovery and just resting up as much as possible and psychologically resting as well. Just not trying to forget about the race. And if you if you're analyzing how you feel every moment of the day, you just of course you're going to feel tired. I mean, we've ridden over three thousand kilometers in two and a half weeks, you know, so everybody's feeling the same and it's just a case of taking it, like, just doing your best every day. I'm not going to defend 10th, you know, it's not, it's not in my nature. So it's, uh, yeah, obviously being in the top 10 in Paris, it's a bit of a, it's better than mini mini-11. It was a big effort, eh? I mean, uh, the boat went away. Not really planned. We were planning to have a bigger breakaway. But once Tony is going, it just couldn't stop anymore. But it was a crazy stage. And they, did, they didn't make it, but at the end, it was nice to see. There's always the intention to win. Even if you know sometimes it's difficult, even if you know it, we could have done it differently. But at the end, I think cycling is all about also the excitement of the people. And I think, of course, if it's if it's... Sometimes you lose, sometimes you win, and we have the riders to do it. I think all the riders have the right mentality just to go sometimes into the dark and see what happens. But often, often it's, it's a good way to race, and uh, I think we're still gonna, gonna go on uh, like this. As long as the team exists, we will always be an aggressive team. I kind of had a bit of a try just to see if they'll let me go, and I didn't go too deep at the time, just to, I was testing them just to see, see if they would. Uh, let me go and try and take a bit of time on the, on the other guys around me and yeah they chase me down so it's it, it does put you off attacking but I mean you have to believe they're going to crack sometime you know. Painful. Even more than any other time so. The power was so good. Five seconds. When I was sitting here, the power was so good. I was like sitting free anything up. Like, I really got into a rhythm after the two K back. And even the two K back, I was still going pretty, pretty empty. I went better around there. <laughs> He's right, time felt like. Yeah. So, Chris Froome, he needed all of those 3 minutes and 52 it seems. Um, let's see just how badly hurt he shakes his head, but he looks physically okay, Sean. I felt really good on the downhills and uh, I, mean, yeah, I just stayed relaxed all day and the guys did a great job of helping me. 
as best I could, and uh, yeah, I just had really good legs. I mean, as I said before, it's it's pot luck. It seems to be pot luck as you wake up with a good day, and today I had a good day, and uh, yeah, it's uh, looking forward to tomorrow. He is an exceptional talent, huh? He, he has it all. He has, uh, beside the bike, he's popular already, and he made himself popular in, in three weeks. On the bike, he's a super talent. He can do it all. I mean, he's, he's, he's fast, he can climb, he, he can do descents, he's comfortable on the bike. Uh, even now, you see already uh, a lot of ATX quick step jerseys more than the year before, so he's, he's already climbing uh, very, very fast. And now it's it's up to us to guide him a little bit more uh, for his uh, the beginning of his career. But for him, I think I have also for the French. I think Ala Philippe is one of the upcoming stars. Ala Philippe goes on the attack. He knows the danger if Nibali gets over to him. Movistar get a win. Pantano comes to the line. We wait for Vincenzo Nibali. We can see Ala Philippe here coming in. Finish fourth. A brave fail battle from him. Winning in Paris is always, it's one of the nicest victories you can have. I mean, I only have one trophy in my home, and that's the one that I won in Paris. It has not been an easy, an easy tour for, for myself, but um, condition-wise, he's still okay. I mean, he's, he survived the mounts really well. He's still in a good shape. So, and also the team uh, is still around him. So in Paris, I think we're going to put the whole team in. You know, we win the stage, we have four second places. We had uh, our part of bad luck with uh, Alaphilippe, who was alone in the lead and broke his derailleur. And today, Marcel has a flat tire, he tried to come back and then he broke his pedal and of course that cost you a lot of forces. This evening we want to be party and uh, it's a little bit of party with the dark side. We missed out Tony today, uh, unfortunately he couldn't finish in Paris. We had an injury on his knee that really hurt him, so um, it was bad luck. I think we missed him in the last stage, we missed his power. For ourselves we're always very critical, but if you see like uh, what, we, what we did this tour, we have nine spot in uh, general classification, we won a stage. We have with Alain Philippe, uh, maybe one of the best French riders in the team. We also have three riders who were new in the Tour, so that's also adapting to a lot of things. It could have gone better, could have gone a lot worse, but I think everybody did what he had to do. And, and just, just that little bit of luck that you always need on this level, we didn't have. So, uh, yeah, we always have a mixture of, of riders here, and, and we always ask a lot of them. I mean. Every stage you have to be there, every stage you have to be up there. And it's not only in the Tour, it's the whole year. We, we ask a lot about, about the riders and they always perform.